YouTube chapters allow you to easily add timestamp links in your video descriptions to specific time codes in your videos. But it's not just a handy tool for viewers to navigate your videos easier. With a few little tweaks, you can easily add in optimized keywords that can also get those time codes ranking in Google search results and generating more traffic for your videos. So in this video, we're gonna run through a complete YouTube chapters tutorial, showing you exactly how to add YouTube timestamp links fast and easy and maximize your potential traffic in the process. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you're giving it a thumbs up. It really makes a huge difference. And all the links to everything we cover in this video, you can find linked in the description box below. Let's jump into it. Now for a little bit of inception in this video, if you wanna jump straight to the part where I'm showing you how to set these up, then check out the chapter markers below and jump straight there. But before we get there, I'm gonna cover a little bit of background to explain how to get the most out of them. Now there's a few different places that the timestamps and chapter markers can be used on both YouTube and Google. The first one is on YouTube in your video descriptions. You can essentially create a list of the different chapters or of the different sections of of your video with a linked timestamp or time code to where those sections start. So if one of your viewers goes down to your video description, they have a full list of everything that you cover along with a clickable link taking them directly to that section of your video. Now, if you're adding those timestamps into your video description correctly, and don't worry, we're about to show you how, then you can also have them showing up inside of your video playback bar or progress bar down the bottom of your video as well with clear sections marked out for the individual chapters or sections of your video, making it really easy for people to easily jump between the different sections while they're watching. And the third place that these chapter markers can show up is inside of Google search results. So when Google shows a YouTube video that has captions on it, then those captions can be shown on mobile and desktop underneath the video. So the viewer can easily again, jump to the different sections and see what's actually covered in the video before they click it. Now this is something that's changing constantly, but it's also something that just seems to be getting more integrated with Google and YouTube over time, which makes a lot of sense for Google, being able to get the right information to people when they're looking for it. Now this is something that Google's actually been playing around with for quite a while, not just featuring full YouTube videos as a suggested or related video for people to click in Google search results, but even bringing up for some videos a featured snippet or a little section of the larger video that is related to what people have searched for to solve that pain or problem or speak directly to what it is that they've searched for. So they then took this one step further and started auto-generating chapters or sections inside of your videos without any input from the user or from the creator at that point. So they were listening and looking at what content is being delivered in that video and it was automatically creating chapter marks or chapter sections inside of your videos with no human input. So again, we've been lucky enough to have this happen to a couple of our videos where I might be talking through 12 steps to film on iPhone or 12 steps to film on Android. And it's actually pulled out and identified the 12 steps, again, without any input from us, but it's something that people can easily jump directly to those specific steps inside of a greater piece of content. So where they're at now with this though, is that they're now accepting human input. So us as the content creators can actually tell YouTube, tell Google, what is happening when inside of our videos using these chapter markers. So these are not only gonna help your viewers jump around in your content or figure out what it is you're actually going to cover in your video, but it's also gonna help Google and YouTube understand what your content is about as well, so that it can then place it on the platforms in front of the people who it's a fit for, or people who want to see your content. So where I think the big opportunity with these chapter markers is, is not just giving your chapters inside of your videos random names. Really look at what is the content that you're covering in that area. Maybe even going and doing some keyword research to see what people are searching for or looking for in relation to those topics and starting to use some of those keywords or your research in your chapter names. So this can help you get your content showing up and ranking overall, or even just for those specific chapters or specific sections inside of your greater video. Now, for those of you who really wanna level up your keyword research and to have your content ranking on YouTube, 
then make sure you stick around to the end because we've put together a free guide showing you exactly how to do it. Now we've been getting a lot of questions through about these chapter markers with people wanting to know, is this a good thing? Should I be adding these to my videos? Is it going to help me increase watch time? Or is giving people the ability to jump around in your video going to really hurt your watch time because people could jump forward, just watch a small piece and then leave? obviously then watching less of your videos. So we've been adding chapters to our videos for quite a while now, and we've actually seen an increase in our overall watch time, not a decrease. Yes, we would have a percentage of people that just jump in, find that specific section of the video, watch that, and then leave. But at the same time, we also now have a clear index, which is easily visible for anyone watching our content to quickly figure out and validate that our video is one that they wanna watch based on the different topics and sections that we're covering in our video. So whether they jump in to a specific section and then figure out, yes, this is the video for me, and then go back and watch it from the start, or whether they just jump in, watch one or two sections, the fact that they're jumping in and they're interacting with your video, they're no longer a passive viewer watching, just sitting idly on the couch, they're interacting with your video as well. And that's also something that YouTube is looking for actual interaction with the platform, actual interaction with the videos. So that helps your overall ranking as well. But overall, yes, we've seen an increase in our watch time from people being able to navigate through our content, jump between the different areas, and obviously figure out what's inside of our videos as well. So it is something I would say is worth exploring, adding these to your videos, if the content you're creating can be broken down into small chunks or steps in a bigger process or chapters. Now to add these timestamps and chapter markers to your videos, you just wanna open up the video that you wanna add them to and press edit video. And then you wanna come down to your video description. We're gonna add ours in here. So what I normally do is just add a title for the section. This isn't required uh, and I'll call it timestamps. But what is required, what you need to do here is start them all off as zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. So the absolute start of your video space, what you actually want that chapter to be called. So what we normally use here is pretty much the title of the video. So we've got how to edit video on iPhone and iPad, LumaFusion tutorial. We'll just copy and paste that into our first timestamp. Then you'll play through your video and find where you want the next section to start. So in our case, in this video, it's going to be at one minute, 35 seconds. So we're gonna put zero, one for one minute, colon, 35 for 35 seconds space, and then what we want to title that section. So we'll go with how to get started on LumaFusion. And then we go and find the time that the next section starts, which in this case is three minutes, 39. So we would go zero, three, three minutes, 39 seconds and enter our chapter name. So you're gonna go through your entire video and add as many chapters or sections as you need into your video. Now in order to make this work, it is important that you have the first one at zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. If you don't have that, or you have it starting at zero, three, or five, or some other number, it is not going to work properly. You need to have zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. You also need to have a minimum of three for this to work. If you have less than three, then it's not gonna show up as chapter markers. And each one of these chapters needs to be at a minimum 10 seconds in length. So there needs to be at least 10 seconds gap or 10 seconds of content between each one of these chapters. Outside of that, you can create as many as you would like. Once you're done, you just wanna hit save. And then if you go and view your actual video now, you can see that we have those chapter sections here already added to our video. And if we open up our video description, let's go show more, we can see that we have those in here down the bottom, and each one of these is also a clickable link. So it's like an index to our content. So if we wanna to go to this section on adding transitions in LumaFusion, we can click on this link here, and that's gonna take us straight to that section in the video. Likewise, if you wanna jump between the different sections, you can just click on them and you'll be taken straight to that section. Now you can also bring up a full list of the chapters on the side over here, just by clicking on one of the chapter names. So if we click on this one here now, then we can view our chapters on the side here as well. And again, just clicking on a section is gonna take you straight to the start of that section. Now these work exactly the same on mobile as well. You can see down the bottom of our YouTube video on the playback bar there, we have all of the different sections and we can just press and drag along that progress bar and we can see all the different chapters in there too. We can also look into the description 
and we have clickable links in there, just the same as we have on desktop. So by pressing one of these links, it's gonna take us straight to that section of the video. And if we tap on the actual chapter title itself, then that's gonna bring us up a list down the bottom of all of the different chapter areas. So it's much bigger, much easier to navigate through to dive in and out of the different sections of a video. Now, when you're using Google on a mobile device and you have a video that is featured that has those chapter markers added, like this one on screen now, then you can interact with those chapter markers just by tapping and scrolling across. So you can see that we can easily see what's covered in this video and just tap on one of those and we're taken straight to that video at that point in time. Now this is in Google itself, not even on YouTube. Now here's another example of how one of our videos has been displayed on Google on mobile that doesn't have timestamps or chapter markers added to it. And it's automatically pulled these out from the video itself. So you can see it's pulled out these three sections from the video with thumbnail images included. And another one of our videos down here further, you can see it's identified 10 key moments. So if we press the down arrow on this, then we can jump straight to those specific sections in there. And again, this was an older video that didn't have chapter markers added to this one either. But now that we have the ability to help Google and YouTube with this, this is where the power really comes in. So now that you've got a solid understanding of YouTube chapters, if you wanna maximize your results and grow on YouTube faster, we've put together a free PDF guide designed to help you with your YouTube SEO and your keyword research, which will help you with your chapter markers too. So to grab your copy, just hit the link on screen or below in the description, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.